hammage. No hammage either. Delicious, delicious hammage. Anyway, I think after I do, well, finish up this one, I'll record Ruto's Rage too, since I I kind of want to do both of these good old-fashioned Spyro games, but not so back-to-back -back like I did with the Mega Man X stuff. Oh, here, speaking of cheapskates, well, and well, if well I didn't actually speak of dragon. cheapskates, but the sorceress oh well. has put me in charge of guarding these bellows. However, I suppose I might look the other way if I was distracted by counting gems. Pay 200 to activate the bellows. Oh, yes. Precious, precious gems. Uh, well then, Spyro, you may now use the bellows any time you wish. Best of luck on your little egg hunt. Can I actually hit him? Nope, I can't. He does not have a hit you animation. Well, I just paid 200 gems to obtain some eggs. There we go. Super kill. Kill streak. Kill frenzy. Remember, to get your longest glide, press the X button at the very top of your jump. And use the triangle button to hover at the end of your jump. Yeah, I don't care. I already know this stuff. It's nice that you're telling me and everything, but it's kind of un not needed. More money, more money. Ah, so many good memories coming back from playing this game. A few bad ones too, because I did not exactly have the best of childhoods, but still some pretty good memories too. Like for instance, when I would. Oh no, that's actually a pretty lame story. You guys wouldn't want to hear it. So yeah, I guess I'll just say money, 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 money every time I get gems. I want to go over here. Screw you guys! I'm going to this portal. Okay, there's a thing over here, and there's lots of money. Uh, yeah. Let's collect the money. Money makes the world go round. Also, for you guys, I will try and complete almost everything, if not everything. You know, collecting all the gems and such, just because. I want to make sure that you guys actually have the ability to enjoy them. with our lava fusion cauldron and three sun seeds. But they keep burning up before we can get them in the pot. Yep. Step on the switch to get a fresh sun seed and keep flaming it until you get it into the pot. Potheads. Potheads. I gotta keep igniting this thing. And it'll just keep... It'll run to the pot itself. Yay, one sun seed in. I gotta make a new sun for these guys. What was I talking about beforehand? I honestly forgot again. Bad memory, bad memory. Let's see, I I talked about childhood and stuff. I didn't have a very good one. Not exactly the best. Or well not exactly the worst, but not nowhere near good. Oh yeah, that's right. I said that I will try and complete this game as much as possible for you guys, for like those who never have actually completed the game all the way because you were too dumb and couldn't figure out where everything was. So, in that part, I will collect everything for you guys to show you what happens near the end. If I were to skip over some stuff and forget where some stuff is, uh, I'll collect them on my own time so you guys don't have to see it too badly. Or, unless, of course, you do want to see it, you know, you just post it in the, the comments down below if you do want to see it, for those of you who do actually watch this stuff. If not, then, oh well. Alright, Sun Seed number two. Alright. He's gonna go this way. There you go. Two sun seeds. Oh, I thought I could get into the cauldron. Alright, now I just gotta get not one more seed into the vat. And they will fuse and become a gigantic ball of fire sun. Fiery sun. Speaking of sun, those guys sure are fancy looking. They have themselves a nice fancy pair of shades. Shades. Also, if I remember correctly, you can actually knock them out of the vat without actually jumping on the switch. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you, you just you don't even have to really do that all that much. You just have to flame them when they're on the cauldron. Come on, go. There we go, made it. I did it! I am the greatest. And they're gonna spin around just like they are right now, and what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Ding! A bigger fireball. Now that's 
That's what I call a sun. Here, you can have this last sun seed as a souvenir. I think it might be a dud, though. Yeah, it is a dud because it's not a sun seed. It's Lulu. Lulu, the black, back flipping black dragon. Well, brown dragon. I don't exactly understand why skin pigments are so sh straight. Oops, I fell off the edge. I was trying to make a point and I died. Anyway, I don't exactly understand why the whole terms of black and white are how they are when it comes to race. They, they're not exactly black. And white people aren't exactly white. They're peachy. So it should be peach people, brown people, tan people, and, uh, and snow people. The abominable snowmen. Let's see what's gonna happen. Yeah. So anyway, I don't exactly understand why it's like that. Kinda, kinda weird if you ask me. But, yeah, that's kinda what I get for playing the race card, and that's what, the, that's what everyone gets for using bland colors. Using bland colors to label their stuff. Their stuff. Alright, so now that I've rescued Henry, all the whirlwinds in this level will be activated, and I can use them. And he's go through a portal. Give me that. Give me that. Alright, I want to go this way. There's a portal up here, too. Alright, there's an egg thief over there. I want to catch him. Give me that. Give me that. Come here back, come back here, Ree hee hee. Ree hee hee. Gotcha. He's a sneaky son of a bitch. Gotcha. Hi, Brian. You're my least favorite. Look at them shades. You're my least favorite. Alright, let's collect the gems because they're gonna distract me while I'm trying to get this egg. Give me that. The thieves are commonly more so known in the first Spyro game. From what I do know of the first Spyro game, there's like egg thieves, and they. I think you have to collect eggs as well, but they don't actually hatch. So I'm guessing the eggs really do take a long time for them to hatch because Spyro's had three whole adventures since he's. He's had three adventures total since he's seen them. We usually wake up our rain cloud at the crack of dawn, but these mischievous spirits are stopping our bells from ringing. Okay, Doki, use Superfly power up to flame the spirits in the bell towers. All right, let's go. Oops, I missed. Oops, I missed. I guess I'll have to start over at the beginning. And let's try that again. Okay, one more. And he's right there. Yeah, these spirits really do not like fire. And since I've woken up their only storm cloud, it's gonna rain, I guess. Which doesn't exactly make sense since they have a generator which makes storm clouds. Why do they need to awaken a storm cloud? That, that's something I never got when I was a kid. It fell out of the belfry. Yeah, I want the doodad that fell out of the belfry. Give me the doodad. Hi, Jake. Where's your stretchy powers? Come on, do your stretchy powers. Don't wave at me. Stretch. Oh well, no stretching. Um, let's see, there are gems. I know there's a few gems in here which I missed. Um, where are they? I know I missed just some. Oh yeah, that's right, they're up there, I'm an idiot. I'm in. I'm such a dum-dum. Oppa. Oh. Yeah, the super fly power up in this area tends to burn up quite quickly. Um... Any more gems? I don't think there are any more in this immediate area. Okay, down the hole I go. Dido, dido, dido. All right. There's. Okay, I do have to go back though. And why I jumped over here, I don't know. Guess I just hop over here. Well, not hop, but uh, I'll fly over here. Oh, this world one's up. Cool. Oh no, wait. This is the world one that I used to get over here. All right. This is the whirlwind that I need to go up in order to get to a more hidden area, which a lot of people don't exactly remember that I know of. Unless, of course, you're one of those guys who likes to explore, which I like to explore in some cases. Alright, well, let's see. Old ladies. 
You got knocked off a cliff. Okay, I missed a jump. A twofer. Hoppa. Back when I was a kid and I and I first found out about this area, I was very bad at timing the fire pillars. Yeah, I'd, I'd screw up pretty heavily, and once I finally got over here to this guy, I I ended up screwing up even worse. Because I I try and collect the gems without actually trying to kill him first, and I'd always get knocked off the edge. It's like, give me a gem, I lose a life. Give me a gem, I lose a life. Give me a gem, I lose a life. And then I just finally timed it right, just there. So Claire, another one with I, another one with uh, four eyes. And I didn't kill that big flying guy up there, so I gotta go over here. Uh, I got all the eggs in this area, as you saw, and uh, I'll kill this guy over here just because. Uh, it's a little faster to collect everything in the stage once I'm already in the stage than it is to just go on ahead and leave. I thought I killed you. Nope, apparently I didn't. And there's still more money in this stage somewhere. Or I think it's over there somewhere. I honestly do not know. Also, I honestly is a bit of a catchphrase of mine. You don't like it, tough. Um. I don't remember the last money is, so I guess this will just be another stage to come back later. Come back to later. Money, money, money. Money. Money, 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 money. Money. Singing a copyrighted song. Cause I'm a jerk. All right, let's go. And there's, speaking of, there's still some money in this stage I have to collect. Well, I don't really... Oh, there it is. There's some money. Nope, that wasn't it. Alright, let's talk to Tiki Man. Yes, my portal is working again. Come visit me at the Tiki Lodge. The Tiki Lodge. Okay, let's go to his home, the Tiki Lodge. Sadly, though, I don't exactly have as much time to record as I normally would because of the simple fact that I tried to record a different game and I got pissed off at it because the loading screens were unbearable as I I think I I think I may have told you what told you earlier but it did not want to work so yeah pretty much I got very angry and upset because it didn't want to work properly uh oh that's a new gem bolt it's a padlock gem bolt I think I need to collect a key or something in order to open it why else would it be there either a key or some kind of contraption or Oh, that's, that's cheap. He actually got a hit on on me. He has a whip. Oh, hey, lava slugs. Oh, you're not gonna get me. Come on. Oh, I have a thousand gems already. Roasted pig. Tangy and delicious. All the monies. Money, money. Yay. Yeah, you die. Okay, there's a guy over here. Oh, there's an egg. Cool. Eggy, 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 eggy. Come in, eggy. Ricky. Ricky. Isn't that the, the name of a, some character that a friend of mine, a Steam friend of mine, actually watches from a stupid TV show? I honestly don't know. There are a lot of weird TV shows out today. Well, weird shows in general. Also, I don't want to talk to her, because she just tells me about the little bugs which I kill for free stuff. Which, of course, I'll probably need to kill it now. Well, I'll go back and get this, get this vault. Can I... can I... Uh, I'm definitely gonna need this now. Because <laughs> I was dumb and I found the lava. Give me that money. Yeah, this is will be another one of those stages I have to come back to in order to collect some more stuff. Because if I remember correctly, there's a mission in here which is only accessible for my character, which is accessible in the next area. Because there are more characters in this game than they, you know, more playable characters as compared to Ripto's Rage. Stupid. I hate you. Give me this money, money. Okay, I made it to the center of the area. Give me. Take this egg. They were giving them away at the Tiki Lodge last night. Yeah, give me that egg. I deserve to go to the lodge, not you. You suck. Curly! You're not all that curly. Your horns don't curl. 
Sparrows hurt. Horns curl a little bit. Not all that much so, but they curl. A tiny bit. Gotcha. Alright. My money. Note, Sergeant Bird is currently on an important mission. In the inside of a cage. Tough luck. The sorceress. Okay. The, mi the music just stopped. And then it restarted. I'm going to come back up here in just a little bit. Give me that. Give me that. Hava, hava, hava. My money. Uh, alright, let's see. Over here. Yay. I got the key. Uh, oops, I opened the atlas by mistake. Alright, so I gotta go over here. Charge you. I wanted to get the key which showed me where, what was, what I already had. Okay. Now, uh, gem vaults. I need to get this before I do anything. Because I think the key restarts in a different area whenever I go in there. Well, whenever I finish the level, so I had to collect the key right there. Give me that money. And this will be another stage I have to come back to later. Unless, of course, I can open the money bags thing right now. I don't know how much that one costs, but it, it, it should be more than 500. How much is it? Pyro, how much? Just in time. I saw two egg thieves run through this door. Well, actually, they paid me to guard their hideout, but uh, that's irrelevant. I'll happily let you through the gate to chase them down for <clears throat> a small finder's fee. Yep, a fee. How much? Okay. Thank I'll do it. You, Spyro. I'm gonna open the door, the catch these thieves, and thieves. I guess I'll finish up now, and tomorrow I'll edit and put out all the videos. So I'll catch these thieves, and then I'll come back. Thieves. Thieves the Jeeves. Okay, I need to collect those. I want to collect this money before I collect the eggs, because I'm a money man. Money is priority over life. Well, no, not really. I'm just, I just, I'm a bit of a collection freak when it comes to these eggs. Okay, extra life. Skill point. Skill point. I s never did understand the point of skill points. Maybe it's just a little hidden area. Maybe a little achievement. You know, if they would actually put some of these old Spyro games up on Steam, I would definitely consider looking at them. Of course, I wouldn't exactly pay for them, but still. The skill point things could be actual achievements, skill points located and stuff. I gotta catch this thief. Running around collecting all the money in the area, too. Just so I can. But since Sparks will collect it for me, I don't exactly need to, you know, use it all that much. Come on, get back here. Okay, gliding after him, not a good idea. Not a good idea. I do have to have to stick to the insides of the track, since he doesn't follow along the center of the track. If I stay near the center, it'll work. Hey, I caught him. Yay! Okay, one more thief to get, and I can take a wee break as soon as I leave this level. And then I'll come back later and record some more. Some more spy -wo. Hey, there goes another one. He was really fast. Maybe if I activate the supercharge, you'll be able to catch him. Possibly. Possibly. I want this money first, though. Whoosh. A super fast thief. I gotta catch up with him while using the supercharge, which means I'll have to move faster and be a little smarter. And I can't exactly glide in order to catch up with him all that much, so I gotta, gotta go fast. Supersonic fast. Cue dramatic music! Yeah, dramatic music. Ah, crap. Well, music over. And I got, now I gotta catch up with him, because I fell off the edge. Supercharge. Music back on. Come on. Come on, almost got him. 
Almost got him. Come on. Okay, so I just had to actually stop and flame him. I'm an idiot. I honestly thought I just had to ram him with my horns. And I just thought maybe I could just charge him. Well, not charge, but flame him. Yay, money. Money. Oh, there's another piece right there, I forgot. Oh, another piece. Now, is there any more money before I leave the immediate area? I decided to stop charging in the middle of that, just, just cause. Um, I don't think there's any more money in the immediate area. I'll, I'll check over here, and if there, there's no more gems, then uh, I guess I'll just go. Well, that was close. And I didn't mean over here, I just wanted to check over here too, just to be safe. Better safe than soggy. Taggy and deliciously soggy, that is. Alright, let's go. Let's go leave the portal, and then I can take a wee break and uh, come back probably tomorrow or so. After I edit and export all these videos, because my raw footage is empty. I uploaded everything. And of course I had like 50 hours worth of... I pre-already uploaded... To, well, not 50 hours, but 50 gigs of footage I already uploaded to YouTube, but... Yeah. Anyway, now that I am done, I will... See you guys later, as soon as the 505 disappears. 505. Alright, bye guys.